Hi, I'm professional sports handicapper Ross Benjamin of rbwins.com. Welcome to another edition of the Winter Circle Sports Betting Podcast. Today is Tuesday, May 24th, and I have a MLB free selection, free winning selection, that is, that comes in the San Diego and Milwaukee game that goes on uh, Wednesday afternoon at 4.10 p.m. Eastern time. Before we get to that free pick, folks, seven and three, with my last 10 here on this channel with my free picks. So we're been, we've been sailing along uh, after a tremendous six week run in which I made my clients and myself tons of money. Uh, I had a very bad week last week. Hey, you know what? I'm as transparent as they come. I tell you when we're winning. I also tell you when things are going a little bit south and they did last week, but uh, I began the week last night with a, 10 star top play winner in the Boston Celtics Miami Heat game under the total of 206 and a half. That game landed on uh, 184. So, an easy winner there that improves my 10 star top plays to 26 and 10 with my last 36. Folks, that's good for 72%. And don't forget my Major League Baseball 10 star top plays. Uh, I've started a little slow in terms of giving out a lot of selections in Major League Baseball early on, but I'm starting to pick up the pace now. But my Major League Baseball 10-star top plays are 3-0 and this year, and I've also gone, uh, since the start of last year, 45-23 and with my Major League Baseball 10-star top plays. As you can see, uh, when we're talking about a 162-game season and about a quarter of a way through this season, um, so, you know, uh, a lot of time has elapsed and I've only given out 68 of those plays and won 45 of them. And folks, none of those plays, uh, exceed minus 140, very seldom even approach it. I really like to make my Mendoza line at 135. And when it comes to money line betting, and of course, there's totals put in there, there's underdogs in there, there's run line selections as well. So I, I, I cover every base when it comes to Major League Baseball betting, a lot of money to be had. So again, folks, 74 and 56 with my last 130 overall, um, still making my clients a very good amount of money with all those selections. Uh, if you're a dime player, you're up over 14 grand. Nickel players up over seven grand. And it's over the last seven weeks. And that's what a bad week last week. So rbwins.com is where you could get my premium paid selections. And folks, I guarantee all my daily single game and multi game packages. If you don't win, you don't make a profit. I will match whatever the purchase price is you paid for. And I will credit your account that exact amount and you could use it any which way you like toward future purchases. Doesn't have to be the next day. It could be whenever you want. It could be two hours from now. Uh, doesn't matter. It's guaranteed. In terms of my um, subscription plans, one week, monthly, annual, um, like I've done for the last few years now, if you are not making a profit at the end of your subscription uh, or when, after your expiration date uh, comes up, um, then I will extend your package until you do. Some of you know exactly what I'm saying because last week we had a bad week and I extended your packages and I will continue to, to I see you in the black and, and making money. I will never ask any of you for any money unless I'm making you money. Uh, uh, with the ex exception of, you have to at least initially dabble in. And you know what, folks? For those of you who are on the fence and have not registered at my website, all you need to go is to rbwins.com, top left-hand side. When you're looking at your screen, you'll see a register tab. It's a one-time process, very short process. Fill out the registration form. You'll be in the system. And why would you want to do that? Because I'm going to give you a $100 sign up bonus uh, free that will be credited to your account. And you could use that toward any purchases you would like in the future. Uh, again, that's rbwins.com. And don't forget, folks, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, it's absolutely free to do so. You'll see that 
OSGA um, tab down here at the bottom or logo, I should say, if you hover over that, uh, the subscription bar will come up, hit that subscription bar. And while you're there, hit the notification bell. So you're uh, uh, alerted immediately upon any of our sports betting videos going up on this channel. All right, let's get to the free pick. And uh, we're going to talk about the game between the Milwaukee Brewers and the San Diego uh, Padres. That game will take place at 4.10 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, May 25th. And it will take place at Petco Park in San Diego. Now, again, folks, I'm taping 24 hours in advance. So some of the statistics I'm going to give you here aren't reflective of what occurred on Tuesday night in this series because Quite frankly, the game's still th two to three hours away uh, from starting at, at the time I'm making this recording. So keep that in mind. Now let's look at the starting pitching matchup here. It'll be the left-hander Aaron Ashby who will go for the Milwaukee Brewers. And he's had control issues uh, throughout his first three starts of the season. As a matter of fact, Ashby has walked 13 men in just 13 and one third innings pitch. Now this is a day game as well. Ashby has seen two of his three starts this year come during the day. And uh, he's not fared very well at all in his two day starts. Uh, and that's indicative of his 675 ERA and 200 whip in those outings. Again, folks, keep in mind, um, I use whip a lot when it comes to major league baseball handicap. And I pay more attention to that uh, for the most part, than I do ERA. I think it's an essential handicapping tool. And that 2.00 ERA, it, what it is, is walks plus hits divided by innings pitch. So he's given up twice as many walks and hits together as he has uh, innings pitched in those two starts during the day. Uh, on top of that, the Padres, as I alluded to, they'll be facing a lefty in um, Aaron Ashby, and San Diego is an extremely profitable 12 and three this season when facing left-handed starting pitchers. Uh, Hugh Darvish will get to start fourth San Diego. And that's great news for Padres backers because in three starts at home this year, San Diego has gone three and oh in those uh, Darvish starts and his 137 ERA in microscopic 066 whip had a lot to do with the Padres' success. Not only that, in those three starts, he's averaged 6.6 .6 innings pitch per start, and that's a very high number in this modern day and age where uh, managers sometime uh, premeditate before the game even starts and, and won't let their pitchers go uh, more than five innings or at a certain pitch count, no matter how they look on that particular day. And, uh, you know, here's the other thing, too. Since 2018, Darvish has made six starts against Milwaukee, and he's absolutely dominated the Brewers in those six starts. How dominating? How about a 164 ERA and an 079 whip um, during those six starts against Milwaukee? Uh, the Padres bullpen, they've been on fire of late. I should say they've been lights out of late as they posted a staff 111 ERA over their last seven games. This is a Padres team that heading into Tuesday, again, we're looking at Wednesday game. I don't know the result from Tuesday, but going into Tuesday's action, the Padres had won five in a row and seven of their last eight. In addition to the fact um, in those last eight games, they've allowed three runs or fewer on seven of those occasions. So it's not only been you Darvish in the San Diego bullpen, it's been the Padres all together. Their pitching has been tremendous of late. And it's a big reason why they're off to a 28 and 14 start this season, despite uh, being without star shortstop Fernando Tatis. I'm going to go with San Diego here, folks. I mean, Right now, as we speak, they're minus 125, and I just think that's a tremendous uh, money line betting value right now. I'm going to take San Diego minus 125 over the Milwaukee Brewers on Wednesday afternoon, 4.10 p.m. Eastern time start. That's Wednesday, May 25th. Until the next time, I'm Ross Benjamin. 
I'd like to wish each and every one of you all the very best. Don't forget, give me a like at the end of the video, folks. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. It's absolutely free. Until the next time, take care and God bless, folks.